guys! So I haven't made a video in a while, uh, life and uni have been pretty busy at the moment. But I thought I'd make another makeup tutorial inspired by the musical Wicked. Wicked's coming back to Sydney and I'm super keen for it, I've seen it like twice already and I want to go again. And it's just so great so I thought I'd do an emerald smoky eye to just get you excited for Wicked. So before I start ranting on about how good Wicked is, let's start the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so I've already primed my eyelids with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and then I'm going to go over my eyelids with my 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay in the colour Freak. This is just going to make our other green eyeshadows hold onto the eye a lot better and also stand out a lot and it's also just a really, really nice highlighter. I'm then going to be taking Mildew from my Urban Decay palette. I can't remember exactly what the palette's called, but I'm just going to be taking that on the inner corner of my eye. And then I also went on top of that colour with Max eyeshadow called Steamy, which is this one here, just to bring out some more colour. And then in the outer lid of my eye, I took Urban Decay's eyeshadow in Loaded and just pretty much loaded that up on my eyes. Oh my god, excuse my lame pun. I then just blended that in with those other green colours to just create a nice seamless gradient. And for all these colours, I'm using a stiff eyeshadow brush to really pack that colour on. I then took a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blended those colours out and then took my matte green eyeshadow from Inglot in the colour 384 to just further blend out my crease. I then also went back in with Loaded to just bring back some of that green colour that had been lost while blending. I then took this dark green crease colour from one of my Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes and took that into the outer corner to darken everything up. And then to further darken everything up, I took my black eyeshadow Creep from my Naked palette from Urban Decay and brought that into the crease as well. And then just to bring a pop of shine, I took my AMC Shine in 41 from Inglot and just with the finger, just applied that to the middle of my lid. And then to highlight and blend out the green, I took a mix of vanilla bean and peaches and cream and blended that into my brow bone. And then because I wanted to, I took my Inglot eyeshadow in 504 and blended that into my crease. Now at the moment this look is pretty top heavy, so to make everything match and blend together I took Loaded on a pencil brush and brought that down under my eyes. I then got my Urban Decay eyeliner in Freak and brought that into my inner corners just to kind of brighten everything up and add some pop of green because we need more green. <laughs> I then lined my waterline, gave myself some eyeliner and put on mascara and then did my brows with my trusty Benefit brow palette thing. <laughs> Now because my eyebrows are already so thick, I don't worry too much about defining them like crazy. I just kind of fill them in to bring back some colour and make sure they weren't as washed out before in comparison to this dark eye. I then took my hula bronzer from Benefit and brought that into my cheekbones and also on my temples just to bring some depth and define my face. And then as for blush, I took my favourite, one of my favourite blushes, um, everyone knows it, <laughs> Orgasm from NARS, and I took that onto the high apples of my cheeks and blended those down. And then for my lips, I used Naked 2 from Urban Decay, and then applied on top of it, Apple Strudel from NYX. And that's it! I hope you guys liked this makeup tutorial today. It's something a little bit different from my last one. I'm just trying different ways of editing them together and seeing what you guys like. If you guys end up recreating this look, definitely tag me on Instagram at Cara Gemma. And leave me a comment telling me if you like Wicked, if you've seen it, if you're going to see it, if you like it, anything you want. Just leave, just leave me a comment, please. Anyway. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and until next time, see you guys next time. Bye!